Agriculture began as humans evolved from hunter-gatherers to far more sedentary lifestyles. Instead of wandering nomadically to hunt, humans domesticated plants and animals, creating communities around them. Some argue that this period of intensification and rising sedentism was driven by localized climatic change and the lengthening of dry seasons, while others argue that the storability of wild grains and legumes contributed to the construction of the first settlements. Hello, and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Today we are going to talk about the top 10 China's most unbelievable farming innovations that shocked the world. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Now let's get started. Number 1. China's Intelligent Greenhouse Enters Trial Operation a world-class, high-tech smart greenhouse has recently begun trials in Shanghai, East China. The Chongming Modern Agricultural Park, which covers an area of 835 mu, approximately 56 hectares, has been finished. The park is made up of five massive greenhouses that will open to the public in May. Number 2. The Big Change in the Xinjiang Desert Xinjiang is China's most important border region and ethnic minority territory. Desertification has become a key impediment to the development of Western regions and socioeconomic growth. Using the geographical structural analysis method, the evolution of the geographical systems in Xinjiang since 1949 is as follows. Expansion of arable land, decrease in productivity and quantity of grassland, decrease in natural forests with an increase in planted forests, water competition with farmland and grassland, wetland, glacier shrinkage and groundwater level descent, sandlot expansion, threatening oasis, population explosion, and tensile stress, the overall pattern could be described as three increases and three decreases, referring to the extension of arable land, communities, and sandlots, as well as the shrinking and degradation of lawn, forest, and marsh. According to the findings, human conduct is the most important element in causing desertification to worsen. Six solutions are proposed in response to the problems listed above. Recognizing the strategic importance of anti-desertification, prevention and treatment are being implemented collaboratively based on the characteristics of Xinjiang's northern, southern, and eastern regions. Using anti-desertification engineering principles to guide the task increasing cooperation with the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, pay attention to the public's interests and needs while balancing the relationships between the public, businesses, and the government, putting a high value on science and technology. Number 3. White Strawberries Grab the Chinese Consumer's Attention White strawberries are a new addition to the Chinese strawberry market. They've grown in popularity since their color and flavor are distinct from regular red strawberries, and their market price is relatively high. Because of their unique appearance, white strawberries attract their own traffic, and e-commerce helps to open up the market. However, domestic white strawberry cultivation is still at a low production capacity at the moment. The white strawberries we plant are of the Mengshiang variety, which was successfully cultivated and developed by the Ningbo Academy of Agricultural Sciences in 2022. It has a perfect fruit shape, delicate flesh, and a distinct smell when bitten into. We employ organic planting methods, organic fertilizers, and no chemical fertilizers such as fruit expanders and chemical hormones to ensure quality. White strawberries produced in this manner have much greater flavor and shelf life. Although the price is higher, customer feedback and repurchase rates are good. When discussing the current white strawberry market, you stated that the domestic target group of white strawberries is small, the planting area is small, the output is small, and the price is slightly high. Many farmers avoid planting because they are concerned about the difficulty of selling their crops. Number 4. Modern agriculture is gaining ground in Xinjiang's cotton fields. A drone, resembling a massive black bird, lifts off gradually with a few smartphone touches, its propellers twirling in the air. It's a regular sight in the fall cotton fields of Yuli County in northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, the country's largest cotton-growing region. Yuli is a cotton hub in Xinjiang, 
with 76,667 hectares of cotton fields. Agricultural drones are commonly employed to spray defoliants during the cotton harvesting season to aid in cotton collection. It only took me one day to master the operation of the drone, Zulier Nijat, a 27-year-old college graduate from Yuli said. Zuliar was a newcomer to the cotton industry. Number 5. Colorful Rice Fields in Southwest China It is often said that the Great Wall of China is the only man-made object visible from space. It's not true, of course. The crumbling, frequently overgrown structure is mostly no wider than a country road. But if the unaided human eye really can spot some of Earth's engineered marvels from low orbit, then in China, they must surely include the Hong Hani rice terraces. Hacked from mountains in the country's southwestern Yunnan province, the sprawling terraces, hundreds of thousands of them, stack up over more than 160 scam to create one of the most spectacular and jaw-dropping landscapes on the planet. What's more, through the massive multi-generational engineering project that created the staircase-like terraces, the local Hani people, one of China's 55 officially recognized ethnic minorities, have harnessed the local environment for the benefit of the entire community. S since ancient times, Hani people have built ditches and canals to divert spring water from mountains and forests to irrigate terraced fields said Aixioying, a Yunnan-based guide with specialist tour company China Highlights. The amount of ditches required has been huge, requiring a great deal of manpower and material resources, which individuals or villages could not afford independently. Number 6. China's Spring Farming Goes High Tech The Spring Equinox, or Chunfen in Chinese, the fourth solar term in the Chinese lunar calendar, falls on March 20 this year. After the spring equinox, the days get longer, the weather becomes warmer, and plants start to grow fast. Around the time of the spring equinox, a major season for farming in China, farming activities are in full swing across the country, from the north to the south. In northeast China's Heilongjiang province, Li Fuqiang, 38, has stored enough fertilizers and soybean seeds for the upcoming spring plowing. Lai, who was awarded the title of Soybean Master in the province in 2018 for planting quality soybeans, plans to plant 3,333 hectares of non-GMO soybeans this year. Heilongjiang is China's largest soybean-producing region, accounting for about half of the country's total soybean acreage. The soybean acreage in the province exceeded 4.66 million hectares in 2020 and will remain stable this year, according to the Provincial Department of Agriculture and Rural Affairs. To complement the use of large agricultural machinery and even drones, Chinese researchers have developed a number of high-tech products to help farmers get better access to agricultural know-how, use intelligent management platforms, and better control pests and plant diseases. I learned how to make better use of fertilizers and herbicides by watching an agricultural live streaming show. I'm confident that I'll have a good harvest this year, said Zhang Dang from Baqing County in Heilongjiang Province. Number 7. Rice seeds from space grow in Guangdong, China. Chinese astronauts have successfully grown rice seedlings on board the Tiangong Space Station. Experts said on Monday that this experiment could provide important information about how astronauts can grow food to support extended space journeys, according to China Daily. Even though prior rice experiments have been conducted in space, the one carried out aboard Tiangong is the first of its type to attempt to produce the entire life cycle of the plant, which starts with a seed and ends with a full plant generating new seeds. On July 24, China launched the Wenchun Space Laboratory into orbit to dock it with the Tian Core module of the Chinese Space Station. The Space Lab is the nation's largest and heaviest spacecraft to date. It measures 17.9 meters, 58 feet, in height and weighs 23 metric tons. Eight experimental payloads are on board, one of which is for the rice experiment. Number 8. Harvesting Chilies in Northwest China's Xinjiang in Karame, Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, northwest China, agricultural machinery harvests chili peppers in a planting base. The harvest season for 113.33 hectares of chili peppers in Karame, Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, northwest China, has begun. The trees are covered in red chili peppers that glow vividly in the sun.
From the air, Karame's chili pepper production facility appears to be a joyful image etched into the land. It's worth noting that the chili pepper harvest in Karame this year is completely mechanized. The use of machinery not only saves money for growers, but it also improves harvesting efficiency. In Karame, Xinjiang Iger Autonomous Region, Northwest China, Agricultural Equipment picks chili peppers in a comprehensive agricultural development zone. Harvesting of chili peppers has begun in Karame, Xinjiang Iger Autonomous Region, Northwest China. Number 9. Precision Agriculture In agriculture, sustainability refers to the adoption of environmentally friendly methods and inputs that have no or little detrimental influence on the environment. Precision agriculture, or site-specific crop and animal management, is one example. It is a technique in which farmers utilize precise amounts of input, such as water, herbicides, and fertilizers, to improve crop quality and productivity. Different sections of land in the field have distinct soil qualities, receive different amounts of sunlight, and have varying slopes. Using the same treatment for the entire farm is thus wasteful and wastes time and resources. To address this, numerous agritech businesses are developing precision agriculture technologies that increase profitability while addressing sustainability concerns. Number 10. Regenerative Agriculture Traditional farming practices cause soil erosion and crusting over time. Plowing, tilling, and overgrazing frequently provide little time for the soil to regenerate before the next farming season. In contrast, regenerative agriculture causes minimal soil disturbance while focusing on boosting soil biodiversity and topsoil resurrection. It entails several practices, such as no-till farming, decreased tillage, crop rotation, and others. Cover crops, for example, are sound to cover the land between cropping seasons in order to restore soil fertility. Furthermore, regenerative farming allows fields to operate as carbon sinks by sequestering carbon. As a result, there are fewer carbon emissions into the atmosphere and a smaller influence on climate change. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us.